Hi. I'm fucking going through it right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh. <laughs> I've literally just finished having like a panic attack so I'm kind of breathless. So I'm really struggling at the moment and I figured I'd just make a video about it because I feel like I can't make any like fun little videos until I have ranted, ranted about my life. <laughs> So, uh, I'm under so much stress right now, like, honestly, I don't think my body can physically handle this much stress. I feel like my heart is being ripped out of my body <laughs> and, like, okay, so, <laughs> okay, so, first I just want to say, excuse the wall, uh, my mum's bedroom is getting decorated and last time I got in trouble for showing it and not explaining that, so... There you go. Um, but anyway, I just like, fuck, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Since lockdown, I've been having a bit of an identity crisis. I just sort of got to a point where like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life and I feel like I'm doing everything wrong. I've made all the wrong decisions up to this point and I don't know, everything's just shit. <laughs> and that made me come to the conclusion that I had chosen the wrong course at university. Right, I do, well did, <laughs> psychology at the University of Manchester and I have depression and I thought that I wasn't going into my lessons and stuff and I was my attendance was awful and I wasn't enjoying it because of my depression but what made me realize that I was wrong is recently I've just realized I just do not give a flying shit about psychology at all. I think I did it because I was like, oh, you have anxiety and depression, so if you do psychology, you'll have all the answers, it will be amazing. No, that's not how it fucking works, is it? <laughs> I, I, had, I thought that I'd be doing it to help people, right? That I'd be, that I'd become a, a therapist, I'd become a counsellor, and I would be amazing at it. And now I'm just realising that that's not me. I, I have very high empathy, and if somebody comes in telling me all their issues, there's no way in hell I would be able to go home and not think about it. And I feel like that's such a thing that counsellors need to be able to do, but I'm not like that. Not to mention the psychology course I'm doing so far, it, nothing is about... We did like one topic on stress and depression and that and it sucked and I didn't enjoy it. So you can imagine about all the other stuff that I just didn't enjoy. And I mean, I wouldn't know if I'd have enjoyed it because I didn't go in, did I? <laughs> Oh god, I'm having a psychotic break. Yes, so I think the reason I chose psychology was because I'd gotten in my own head and I decided that I needed to do something academic to prove something to myself and prove something to everyone else that I am smart enough to do it. I'm just here holding my camera batteries because why not? I, I've i never been like an academic person. I, I've never enjoyed it like ever in my entire life. And then when the university comes around, I'm like, yes let's do psychology that sounds like a fucking great idea because i mean i i thought for some reason i decided that any sort of art any sort of art degree would be fucking useless and i need to stop swearing i'm sorry <laughs> because i'm like oh i can do that by myself but what's the point in doing a degree in something that you just don't enjoy you don't care about because it's academic and that makes it superior for some reason. Like, why has that been ingrained into me that I feel like an art course is below me? That I would be losing some sort of pride to do something that I fucking enjoy. So anyway, now I've, I'm fucking like mid crying and I'm sorry. This isn't that deep. I know it sounds really like, so what just drop out and start again but it's just stress i just can't handle it i can't tell anyone about it and i'm just whew. okay <laughs> so right now i'm in the process of reapplying to a different university which is it's way too late to do that really like what month are we on <sighs> i need a beauty blender like <laughs> It's now nearly May, it's April, and we're going on to May, and the deadline is June, but that's that's like an extended deadline. So the official deadline was ages ago, and I'm trying to reapply, and it's just fucking everything that I need to reapply is not with me, it's at home, 
but I'm here at my mum's so I don't have any of it with me and I can't do my application without it and it's just I just feel so fucking lost and I can't get help of anyone because the university that I'm applying to no response from them at all no replies to emails all of their numbers aren't working I'm just like can you please I know it's a tough time but like <laughs> please <laughs> so yeah let's just move on from that so the courses that I'm looking at now are game art animation and graphic design and it's just like I really wish I could have just gone back in time and been like bitch why are you doing psychology like honestly when I was at college right I did graphic design art and design and psychology and I hated art and design fair but graphic design was my shit I loved it and in the end I ended up getting a hundred percent on everything like a star like fucking sick like obviously I was good at it I enjoyed it it was sick and then like in psychology I got an A I did okay but like why would you choose to do psychology after that oh god <laughs> and like it's just last year when I dropped out I, I know how everyone reacts now like the <sighs> Like, when I dropped out, everyone was, like, heartbroken over it, like... <sighs> it's so stupid, I just feel like I'm letting everyone down all the fucking time. <laughs> okay, whoo. <laughs> Thumbnail! <laughs> oh, shit. Why do I bother doing my makeup? So I feel like I can't tell anyone because there is a chance that I won't get into a course. Okay, we need to take a break. One second. <sighs> oh. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We're just expressing emotion. That's what this is. So, um... <laughs> so, when I dropped out the first time everybody was pissed off like pissed off my dad was like you've broken my heart and not happy everybody was mad at me for dropping out so i can't tell anyone now that i'm planning on moving to a different course because it will have the same response and i i probably got my i probably got the issue of thinking that an art course isn't good from them so we probably you know shouldn't mention it so yeah i can't tell anyone because i feel like they'll just have the same reaction they'll say i'm letting them down and like blah 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 blah, blah. <sighs> which is why i've got to do it all by myself but because i'm doing it all by myself i'm trapped with this like pain inside of my heart of pure stress and it's fucking killing me so one of my main issues was that i need a reference so you know shout out to miss gettings if you're watching this please don't be watching this this is embarrassing but like yeah i literally emailed her well i didn't email her i emailed the college and she got back to me the next day and was like yo i i have your reference i will send it <laughs> so yeah shout out to miss gettings <laughs> but i just feel I'm having like such a fucking issue with myself like I just feel like I'm not me anymore and like I've just made all the wrong decisions I already did a video of this like the other day I did a huge run I was like going on going off go off queen and I, I did this painting this angst painting and honestly it looks kind of sexual so I decided to just fuck that video off but I just don't trust myself anymore I don't trust myself to make the right decisions and like I think that's an issue with me is I just don't have any confidence in myself to do anything right ever like I can't I can't just be like I want to do that I'm doing it apply done going like I have to sit there for 10 hours doubting everything I've ever thought and then I'm like maybe I shouldn't do that <laughs> like <laughs> ah! I'm just pissed off at myself and I really wish that I'd have just done something that I knew I would enjoy. Like the thing is as well is the University of Manchester is like a prestigious uni and it's like oh well if you go there then you're smart and cool. And like I don't know I feel like I let that get to me as well because I chose that college 
not college, that uni over another uni that does way more courses that I would be interested in because I was like, oh yeah, but you know, I got the grade. So if I, if I could go there, then I should, even if I don't want to, <laughs> like, I just don't, uh, I just don't feel like I belong anywhere. And like, this is just such fucking bullshit. I don't even know what I'm on about. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so yeah, all this started off because I was having like some, I don't want to say, I don't know, like issues being in my body. I was like, <laughs> I hate myself. I don't want, I don't look the way I want to look. And then, and then it just started spiraling into everything. I was like, yo, I don't like my hair cut. And then, and then I get to fucking every decision you in your entire life that you've ever made was wrong. And you remember that. <laughs> like literally last night, I just, I almost cried myself to sleep. Almost. And then I had a panic attack instead and panic attacked myself to sleep, which doesn't make sense. But the last memory I have is almost having a panic attack. And then, <laughs> and then I was asleep. So <laughs> I just feel like a shit person. <laughs> shitty stupid person <laughs> I honestly just wanted to make this video because I need to get back into the groove of the groove <laughs> of making videos and I, I just felt like I couldn't do it without venting out everything that's happening like I'm just having a hard time it's just been hard so <laughs> <laughs> I mean, honestly, I guess that's it. <laughs> like, there's no point going on. I really need to, like, get my shit together and start doing... Oh, I just thought I would, like, vent this out because it is really stressing me out and I just feel really shit. <laughs> and, like, it's hard because I don't, I don't want to be, like, a three-time dropout, you know? So the plan is... I'll move to a different course, a different uni, and then when it's done, everyone will be like, oh my god, you've done your psychology degree, amazing. And then I'll be like, well, actually, I'm not a psychology student, so no, not really. <laughs> and that's when they'll find out. I just feel like I have more to say, but I just can't. I need to get my shit together. Ugh, and my nose is running everywhere and I don't have tissue, so I am going to go now and I, I, I don't know, I'll see you in the next video. It will be something a bit more chirpy and fun and less me crying to you that's what this video is it's just fuck you to me thank you <laughs> okay so i figured i'd do a proper outro now that i'm completely calmed down and everything but yeah so apparently ranting to a camera is is very cathartic and i feel actually a lot better so thanks oh i just ran up the stairs and i'm gonna fucking kill me <laughs> I'm the peak of fitness. Yeah, thank you for watching. <laughs> I'd say if you want more content like this, leave a like and subscribe. I don't think anybody wants more content like this. So yeah, I will see you in the next video. Oh yeah, by the way, the painting that I just randomly threw in, it was this thing and it was literally supposed to be like the pressures of trying to be pretty and like constantly trying to post aesthetic things even though you feel like shit. So it was supposed to be that, but it kind of looks like she's got a gag in her mouth and it's a little bit, um, NSFW, so...